Hey guys, Mr. Lanes and still virtual lanes in my home office, not at school. Um, I want to just give you a message because we haven't been together for a while. And I was thinking about a really important question. That is, um, why do you love History Day so much? What is it, Lanes, that makes you so passionate about it? And the reason why is because I feel like there's no other class that makes students stretch out of their comfort zone, that makes them do things that they never thought possible. And when people and students your age have an opportunity to do something that they never thought that they could, then the dividends, the benefits of that last them for a whole life. And sometimes it may sound like, you know, that you're making too big a deal about it, but I'm really not because I have seen students in your place doing the things that you're doing. And then four years from now, eight years from now, they are extremely successful. And they say things about history day, about the fact that they weren't unsure and they didn't think that they could do it and that they felt so good when they did accomplish it. So I want you to think about that message as you work over the next couple of days, couple of weeks, because sometimes you'll be thinking like, what is this? Is this all worth it? I'm telling you that it is. You won't see it day to day. But long term, you will experience it. You will benefit from it. So where do we go from with that message? The specifics. If you're making an exhibit, you need to be writing right now. Filling out that template. Attacking each part of the template as if it's a section of the board. You're going to retell that story. Always with a fine attention to this year's theme, debate and diplomacy. So create those sections or chapters, I like to call them, or sets. You'll have about eight of them. I'm going to look a little bit closely tonight at your templates and see how you're doing, give you some feedback. Take a look at that so you know how to, to move forward. If you're making a doc, it is critical right now that you develop a script. And you can determine the length of the script by looking at the sample that I've provided on Google Classroom, it's going to be pretty long. You're going to be talking for approximately 10 minutes. I mean, that's going to be broken up maybe with some video that takes the place of your narration. But it needs to be scripted so that I can see it, give you feedback, you can improve it, and then um, we can get ready to, to record. Somebody should be writing that script, working together, playing around with it, speaking it out, see if it sounds right. And all the while, you're still accumulating your assets. What are assets? Assets are your pictures. They're your videos. They're your quotes. All the things that you're going to use to tell that story in your documentary. All right. So I know that me not being there you know, you might think, oh, I can kind of slack off. Dude, please don't slack off. You owe it to what you've put forth already. You owe it to the members of your group. You owe it to our school who's invested in you to participate in this competition. And you owe it to yourself. So put forth the effort. Let's continue to make history at Fetty. I know you guys can do it. And uh, if you have questions, shoot me a message through GoGuardian. Send me an email if the question is a little bit longer, and I will get to it almost immediately. Uh, be respectful of our substitute. Mr. Harris used to be one of my students, you know. That's how old I am. I didn't have gray hair when uh, Mr. Harris was in the class. Looking pretty gray right now. And I hope to see you guys back on Monday. In fact, well, it'll be Tuesday. But when I come back, I'm hoping that we will have the exhibit boards for those people that are doing the exhibits. That's that's really an exciting time. So let's get your project to the point where when you get those exhibits, you can actually start putting some things on it.
Okay, so uh, I'm sorry I'm not there. Nothing I can do about it. I will see you as soon as I can, probably looking like Tuesday. So let's keep working. And um, Grace? That's right, Labrador.